Hey guys, um, got a pretty good, um, that made out pretty well today. Um, the director of the museum that I volunteer at called me up, asked me if I wanted some stuff, so I went around the shop and I got this two cylinder continental welder generator. It's got two cylinder continental engine, overhead valve. So it's got carburetor in there and your nylon fuel tank, diaphragm fuel pump. It's all three, it turns over very nicely. It's got really good compression. I gotta check to see if it has spark. I'm gonna throw some gas in it and try and fire it up here. It's got no muffler on it though. So I'll have to rig up something. But I mean, it's 16 cubic inches. It says manufactured by um, Continental. The generator, it says, is manufactured by um, Holgar Manufacturing Co. And you see there's your in increased voltage. And you got combination trip, percent load current, DC volts. So you can open this box up here. You got all your electronics inside there and your diagrams. So I'm going to try and get this running hopefully this afternoon. I have to see. It doesn't look like I have any major problems. This it was manufactured in November 1966. And I don't think it was ever shipped overseas because this thing's in great shape. I got another World War II generator. It's a Lawson. Let's see, get the spark plug out of it right now. Big old thing. Um, here's a cow. It's Lawson. Um, it's sort of free. It doesn't really like turning over at all. So I'm going to take the head off and see what the story is. Um, got this two cylinder, two cycle water pump from a fire engine. Sort of neat. That's seized, but he said it was running. Well, no, sorry, it said it was free a few years ago. So you just flip that off, cork float. So, it's sort of neat. Hopefully, I'll have that one running here in a little bit. Um, and here's this one. I found this in my grandpa's shed uh, wrapped up in a towel on an orchard sprayer. It's a Briggs & Stratton Model N. Um, this thing's driving me crazy. First, it was getting fuel. Now, it's getting no fuel. And then, when it stopped getting no fuel, I was able to finally get spark out of it. So now I have spark but no fuel. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> but I got a new spark plug. I thought that might help out a little bit, but I don't know. I've gone through the carburetor about five times and um, without any results. So I don't know. But anyway, I'm also about to switch over the gear reduction wheels so they're facing forward on the 51L. But anyway, sorry, I got a little bit of a cold here. But, um,. Yes, hopefully I'll have one of these running here soon. So, okay guys, thanks for watching.